The quality and characteristics of bread are largely due to the gluten-forming properties of the flour. Flour itself does not contain gluten. Gluten is only produced when water is added to the mix and the dough is developed. Gluten development takes place throughout the initial steps of the bread making process. Accuracy in scaling is essential. Inaccuracies may result in formula imbalances that have negative results on the final product. The objectives of mixing are to obtain a uniform distribution of all ingredients, to hydrate the ingredients, and to develop the gluten to the desired gluten window, being a short mix, improved mix, or intensive mix. The first stage of mixing is known as the pickup, where the ingredients are combined into a wet, sticky mass. The second stage is that of preliminary development, during which the dough acquires a pasty smoothness. Short mixed doughs for artisan breads are typically mixed for four to five minutes on the first speed and one to two minutes on the second speed and represent the stage of preliminary development. The third period is the development of elasticity in the gluten. The stretching action can be observed and the dough starts to pull away from the bowl. Improved mixed doughs demonstrate this mixing time which is typically four to five minutes on the first speed and four to five minutes on the second speed. During the last period, the dough reaches final gluten development. The dough should be smooth, dry and elastic and should leave the sides of the mixing bowl cleanly. Intensively mixed doughs typically spend 4 to 5 minutes on the first speed and 6 to 8 minutes on the second speed. Mixing beyond stage 4 will result in the dough being overmixed, which is indicated by the dough becoming wet, sticky and shiny, with little or no elasticity. Bulk fermentation is the time between mixing and scaling or dividing. The dough is allowed to rest and the yeast allowed to work. Conditioning of the dough takes place, the gluten becomes extensible and flavor is produced. For artisan breads or breads with a longer fermentation, stretches and folds are given between three quarters of an hour or longer, depending upon the length of the BFT. This is not a remix because the greatest benefits are obtained with a folding action. Stretching and folding develops the gluten to strengthen the dough. The object of the intermediate proof is to allow the dough structure to recover and the gluten to relax from the tension of the dividing and rounding. It is also conditioned for the molding operation. This is the final stage of gluten development. As the dough is molded into a variety of bread shapes, the baker degasses the dough piece. Further gluten development is created by the tension of the final molding. Properly formed loaves will show excellent oven spring, and in the case of scoring bread, the final gluten development will create the required final look of the product.